Do you have a problem with your Tyneco vacuum mop? This is the S5, but it happens with the S3s and the other ones. Any of them that basically talk to you and tell you that the dirty water tank is full, even when it's not, if, you get, if you're getting that annoying error code, dirty water tank full, please empty. I'm gonna tell you how I fixed it. First of all, the dirty water tank, make sure that it's not full. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do is take out the HEPA filter, scrub this thing down, Make sure that there's not debris blocking it anywhere. I just sprayed this down. Let's give it a good scrub. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a good rinse. After that, you wanna make sure this area is clean. Stuff gets in these grooves. Once again, use the scrubbing brush, get in all those spaces. Take off this part and then see how there's stuff right there? You gotta get that clean too, so. Scrub that, and also on this side. The, there's also these sensors right here. That's an important part that you need to make sure they're clean. If that area is not clean, it'll definitely go off. Make sure that you clean out the filter. Then you can use this brush to just make sure that whole thing is clear of any hair or debris. Go ahead and just rinse all this off. Next, we're going to the intake area and this can get clogged too with pet hair, human hair. It can get really gross. Again, take your brush and just clean in there and make sure that doesn't have any blockage. And then take off the cover. And this one just has this thing you pull out on the side. Mine just comes off like this really easy. And so the next thing you need to do is check inside of this because that's where stuff can get really blocked in too. So you just wipe in there and you can use a knife and your microfiber cloth and get up in there, okay? And make sure that nothing's blocking there either. And also another thing you can do is sometimes, and this actually happened to me, the S3, you can actually remove this part right here at the end it pops off. I don't think this one does, but sometimes there is some hair wrapped around here. So make sure there's not. Then we're gonna put this back on. Also look here because this cover gets really dirty too. Now take a dry microfiber cloth and dry the places that has sensors. So dry it around here and then up where the dirty water tank hits up here. We're gonna go to the dirty water tank itself and dry off that metal piece right there these sensors right here and make sure they're clean those are really important let's put this back together there's the filter put on the lid and also put in the HEPA filter now i'm gonna put this back in make sure it clicks in so it's all the way in because that can be a problem Push the... no error it's working again and we're so happy because I really can't live without it. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We really appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. But I want to know, guys, did this work for you? If you tried it, let me know in the comments. I want to see how you solved this problem. And if it worked, you can learn from each other too.